Hi, so what, what is this demo about? Yeah, so we're going to demonstrate a uh, thermal management solution that's uh, SOC agnostic for ARM solutions. Um, we use the spirit of the existing kernel thermal framework that's used on x86 systems today and mapped as much as possible the, the API infrastructure that exists, uh, but have it be in an ARM agnostic manner. So obviously there's some changes between what x86 does and what ARM solutions generically do. Then of course there are some, you know, issues between the various SOCs that TI, ST, Samsung, and others would, would use. So what we tried to develop here was a, an agnostic framework for the SOCs that could quickly be adapted to, to any ARM-based platform. Um, I think prior to this week, uh, neither this was developed initially on a TI uh, Blaze platform, which is 4460-based. Uh, prior to this week, we actually didn't do any implementation on the ST or, or Samsung hardware. I think within a matter of an hour or two, we were able to get the same little functionality that, that we did in our development system. Awesome. So we hope that this uh, demonstrates the, the value and power that uh, we're doing in Lenaro to standardize along our, our platforms. So with that, we'll do a quick demonstration of how it works on, on any SOC platform, although this one is the SD. So, yeah, I've got a... STRX and HREF platform on which I have poured the thermal framework. So up to now, um, in order to simulate some um, increase of a suck temperature, I'm using a coffee and a ice water. So when I when I put my coffee on the board, the um, suck temperature will increase. Up so we see power top here. Yes. So up to now we can use both frequency. We have two frequencies. So here we've got a message to say we are in the alerta zone. Zone. I mean, uh, we have increased the temperature, and in this case, we are just using the lowest frequency, 400 megahertz. So now for see. power top, we can see no any more activity on the 800 megahertz. Okay. And now, if I'm putting back some ice water, we should re-enable soon the highest frequency. We just need to wait a bit. Yeah, and emphasize right now our cooling mechanism for all platforms yeah. is just using CPU Freak to remove operating points. Uh, later on, we're considering using idle injection and, and core removal and other techniques as well. And again, purpose being common framework and API for ARM solutions to give the same effect the FAN solution gives in an x86 system. Okay. So here uh, we've got the message that uh, we come back to the safe zone so we have enabled both OTP. Right. And, and now the now use percentage is increasing at yes, 800 megahertz. Yeah. So we are using coffee and water just because right now for this suck we don't need to have some thermal management. Right. But probably for next generation should be necessary. Yeah. All right, so that's what you do at Lenaro Connect. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And next steps, it's pretty pretty clear. Uh, I mean, in the XA6 world, they also do some CPU freak handling the cool devices. Uh, so we'll see how close we can try to match the framework so it's not as big of a change to, to people coming from the XA6 world to adopt this. But really going forward, you know, we can't rely on a fan or an external solution to cool devices. So. Uh, we'll have to come up with more techniques than just a CPU freak. That's the uh, next sprint, hopefully. <laughs> right, I believe you can't rely on uh, icy water to... No, <laughs> right, device. yeah, well... And <laughs> yeah, if, if coffee and water that's the lab. overheats and cools the device, then we all got problems. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. That was the PM working group uh, of Lenaro. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.